Hello everyone, uh, this is Saranya uh, uh, from uh, SRM IST, Department of Computer Science and Engineering. So the topic is like uh, paging and segmentation. Uh, before entering into this combined topic of segmentation with paging, uh, we have to, I'll just recollect what is meant by paging and what is meant by segmentation separately. So paging is like a memory management scheme that permits a physical address space of a process to be uh, con non-contagious. Actually, this paging avoids the uh, problem like overfitting with the varying size of memory that chunks into the uh, backing store and back to the form of most of the previous management scheme, wherever uh, we suffered of fitting the large memory part. And the traditional support like paging has been handled by the hardware. However, the recent designs like uh, implementing the paging was very closely integrated with the hardware system and the operating system. And especially, uh, it is very difficult in handling this paging in a 64-bit uh, microprocessor. So, this uh, physical memory is like broken into fixed size and which is called as frames. And also, we know this logical memory that is broken into number of blocks of same size will called as pages. And we know what is meant by a page number, what is meant by a page table, how to handle a page table, how this hashing, hashing function of a page table it works and so on. So these are all some basic concepts that are involved in paging. And coming to the session like uh, what is meant by segmentation, uh, we know uh, this uh, uh, se segmentation is like uh, uh, a linear uh, array of bytes, some containing a st instruction with uh, other data. So uh, it is like um, the, the segmentation of a memory management scheme that supports a user with a view of a memory. A logical address space is a collection of segments. So each segment has its own name and length. So the address specified by the segment name and the offset within the segment, it is like the user therefore specifies each address by the two quantities like segment name and it is an offset value. So this is how we can mention. So even we have a, a logical, uh, uh, logically these addresses are, uh, have a, a tuple like uh, segment number and an offset value. Normally, the user is compiled and the compiler automatically constructs the segment re reflecting the program input. So, we have uh, some basics like uh, global variables and we have a procedure uh, call to uh, call to a stack to store the parameters and also the return address and the code portion of each uh, procedures or the function. The lo uh, logical variable of each procedure and the function can be uh, uh, like these are all the uh, compiling part of a segment. So this is how the segmentation will work and also like similar to the page paging concept we have segmentation table also and uh, segmentation table and uh, segmentation logical address and how it has been connected with the memory and how this uh, sharing of segment with the segment memory system everything it is uh, talked about uh, now uh, coming to this part we have a combined idea of this uh, uh, concept is like uh, as what i discussed like what is meant by segmentation and uh, what are all the two parts uh, this this is the slide that talks about i'll go to this uh, uh, diagram directly this uh, segment uh, translation with the paging so here if you say both paging and segmentation have two advantages and also some uh, drawbacks also in fact these uh, two most popular uh, microprocessor it has been not been used so if you say like um, the logical address space is divided into two partitioning the first partitioning consists up to uh, uh, 8 KB of segment and also private to the process and the second partitioning consists of up to like uh, 8 KB of segment that have a sh uh, shared among all the process. So this is how it works. When the physical address with uh, uh, 32 bit long and it is forms like a segment register point and an appropriate uh, linear descriptor table and a global descriptor table we have some uh, combinations like this so what this linear descriptor table it will do it is like uh, lim uh, it limits the used to check the availability of the valid addresses and also if the address is not valid 
the memory fault uh, will be generated resulting to the trap of the operating system so this is how it happens if it is a valid then the value of the offset is added to the value of the base table resulting to 32 bit linear addresses so this is like uh, the can be like uh, translated into a physical address this uh, physical addresses so as i pointed out previously each seg uh, segment is like paged and each page will be like uh, you can say example 4kb uh, a page table uh, must consist of at least uh, uh, minimum up to in those days it's up to 1 million of entries because each entry consists of 4 bytes each process may depend up to 4 kbs of physical address space of the page table alone so you can say like clearly we we couldn't uh, want to allocate the page table contiguously in the memory space so this is the main drawback actually the solution to adopt like this will go for this two level of paging scheme so that is why uh, we are this uh, two level of paging scheme is like uh, address translation scheme uh, for architecture which is similar to this uh, 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 the page table contain and also we have a, a, a directory point of the page table it is like logical address which follows as i told you like we have a logical descriptor table and a global descriptor table so these two tables combinedly it forms and works so this logical space address of this uh, process can be divided into two partitioning it is like first partitioning consists up to 8 kbs of se uh, segment that provides a pri uh, private to the process and the second partition is, is up to like 8 kbs of uh, segments that shared among all the process so maybe one, one will be given to a private sharing and one will be given to the uh, public sharing kind of process so by this way we can uh, identify the uh, enough address space and also we can uh, eliminate this fragmentation uh, uh, thing either internal fragmentation or external fragmentation which occurred to improve the efficiency of the physical memory use like uh, these tables have, have been swapped into the disk in this case an invalid bit uh, is used in the page directory entry is to indicate whether the table with the entry is pointing uh, the memory or the disk if the table on the disk of the operating system can be like uh, a 31 bit to specify the disk location of the table so the table can be brought into the memory uh, memory back to the memory and it can be on the demand of the performance so this is like all about uh, uh, how it handles and coming to the topic like uh, uh, of swapping and uh, any algorithm can be have a swapping added to this at an interval of determined to the operating system usually uh, this uh, cpu po policies uh, process can be copied to the main memory backing to the storage data so when uh, talking about this uh, uh, combined concepts of sh uh, paging and segmentation uh, we have this uh, uh, a paging number like virtual address segment table entry and page entry virtual address which consists of segment number page number and offset then segment table entry it is like uh, control bits length uh, segment base so all these things we have seen like how it uh, works and how it reduces the fragmentation a multi uh, see if we take about this fragmentation a multi program system will generate uh, generate the performance more efficiently if it is higher level of multi programming so uh, for a given set of process we can increase the multi programming level only by uh, packing more process into the memory so to uh, uh, to enhance this task we must reduce the memory wastage uh, like uh, which is called as frag fragmentation the system which is with a fixed size of allocation units such as single partitioning scheme and the paging suffer from the internal fragmentation so this can be avoided by using the system with a variable size allocation unit such as multiple partitioning scheme and the segmentation uh, maybe this segmentation will uh, leads to the problem like external fragmentation so these two things can be avoided when both the schemes are combined and we have a reallocation technique also so one of the solution for external fragmentation we can say it is like uh, compaction this compaction involves uh, shifting of a program in in the memory without the program noticing the change so this consideration uh, uh, requires that logical address to be uh, uh, relocated dynamically at, at the execution time if the address are relocated only only at the loader time we cannot compact the storage so all these things we have to uh, consider so in a memory management algorithm it is like uh, paging segmentation and com combinations of paging and segmentation is like uh, uh, giving a better solution 
and coming to this protection and uh, sharing as i uh, we discussed this uh, sharing concept like uh, and uh, uh, multi programming level it is to need to share the code and the data among the different users so sharing is generally like it needs either the paging or the segmentation which is used to provide a small packet of information that can be shared uh, the sharing is mean of running many process with a limited amount of memory but shares a program and the data must be uh, designed uh, very exactly to the scheme so when coming to this protection if a paging and segmentation is provided different uh, sections of the user can be declared uh, executed only so it is like uh, read only and also like write only this restriction is uh, necessary with the shared code of data and generally useful in the case of the provided simple run time to check the common programming errors so here this uh, highlighted point like uh, segmentation lends to itself to the implementation of protection of sharing policies uh, each entry has been a base address of the uh, uh, i mean the length and then uh, in advance to the memory access to the control and also like sharing can be achieved by the segment uh, referring multiple processes and uh, they have highlighted two different uh, uh, types which is involved one is like program may access only the data that resides on the same rings or less privileged and the program may call the service residing on the same or the more privileged ring so this uh, this type of protection sharing relationship can be uh, enforced to the system